on the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places that I've never been Hello, YouTubers. It's me, Michael Brewer, your friendly neighborhood gay guru, reporting to you from uh, one of the more unusual locations that I've chosen to film. Behind me here is the grave of my older brother, Jeff. I'm in uh, Saville, Long Island, New York, and I specifically picked this rather somber location to talk about a subject that has come up for me while I'm here home for a visit, and that's forgiveness. Many of you, like me, uh, no longer live in the town in which you were born or grew up, where your family lives, and perhaps you too go home now and then for a visit. You'll find, like I have perhaps, that while you're away and while you live in another place, uh, you grow and change and expand into another person. You become something else. You, you're different. And you come home to your family and to the place where you're born, it's like fitting a foot that's grown too large into a shoe that no longer fits. Try as you might, as enlightened as you may be, as wise and inspired, probably, like myself, you'll find that very often you'll be tempted to fall back into the ways and the culture and the mentality of the place where you came. And I know while I was here this time, and as many other times, a lot of the memories that come up for me while I'm here are not all that pleasant. Um, I was raised by a very abusive father, and I had two older brothers who also were very abusive to me, one of whom lies behind me here beneath this stone. And in the past, as I was a younger man, that would be very painful for me to come back here. Those memories still hurt and were still fresh. And uh, I notice now as I've gotten older and perhaps through my travels as the gay guru and all the things I've learned and experienced and also tried to pass on to you here, that this time it doesn't hurt so much. I can lay right here next to my older brother Jeff and not feel that pain anymore. <laughs> I feel at peace and that's why I choose to lay here right now beside him to pick this time and this place right here and now to tell my brother Jeff and to tell my other brother who is still alive and to tell my father who is also dead and lies in another place that I forgive you I forgive you I forgive all that you did whether perceived and imagined or real I no longer feel those wounds <laughs> I've moved on I can let them go now and it's a really good feeling I think it is so important to be able to forgive like that. The Course of Miracles says that forgiveness is the great need of this world, and that is so true. If you look at all the conflict and strife, and it all can be healed with just a bit of forgiveness. The old paradigm would say we've got to do it for them, for these guys, the ones that have done the pain. You know, that it's, a, it's, a, it's almost sort of a namby-pamby weakness sort of thing to do. But actually, to forgive is coming from a place of strength and it's actually a rather selfish thing to do and I know that sounds really odd after all we've been taught and drummed into our have drummed into our heads by the religions but actually it's very true because if you walk around in your life holding on to grievances and grudges and anger and all all these pains whether it's from your childhood or whether it's just an altercation you had yesterday the one who suffers is not them. I mean, my older brother isn't suffering because of what he did to me. He's, he's gone. He's transitioned. He's in a place now beyond suffering and pain. He's, I hope for his sake, I pray actually, that he's in a very happy, good place. And if I've walked around now for the last 45 years or more, holding on to grievances because of what he did to me, well, who's suffering? Not him. Me. And I did. And even more so with my, my brother it was my father. I mean, I, I walked around wounded in my soul for decades. Decades. 
for the things I thought this man did to me. And I used those things as my excuse not to be happy. And how many of us do that? Think in your own life. What are you using as your excuse not to be happy, not to follow your bliss, not to do what you want, and for what? And it's just so easy to get beyond that, to get to a place where you just forgive. All right. I think I just sugarcoated that. Maybe it's not so easy. Maybe you just have to get to that time and place where you can do it. But when you can do it, it is so freeing. It's the best thing you can do. You can just walk through your past and forgive them all one by one. All the ones who you think did you harm or did you harm. In the end, you've just got to let it all go. And there's a good reason for doing so. A super good reason for doing so. And a very selfish reason for doing so. And I mean selfish in a good sense. It's because our vibrational states are our point of attraction. That means we are attracting to us in like manner to the way in which we are vibrating. And so if you're walking through life with a vibration of resentment and anger, pain and suffering, sorrow and regret from the past, whether it's the immediate past or going way back to early childhood like I had, like I did with my brother right here. Well, then you have that in your vibration. And in a way, when they say history repeats itself, well, in a way, it's kind of true. If you are focused in your vibration, even if it's sort of deep down and a bit subliminal on abuse and pain and hurt and regret or resentment, well, you know what? You're just going to keep attracting that over and over and over in your life. Think about it. Think about a relationship you've had in your life, whether it was with a family member or someone else that didn't go well and ended poorly or was abusive or you for, you, for which you have regrets or resentment. Think how many times you've retracted similar situations in your life. I mean, there are people who just go out and marry the same person over and over and over again. And in the end, it was their mother or their father. We all do it. I'm not blaming here. I'm not pointing fingers at yourself. In fact, I'm talking about myself. I did it too. But you come to a point in your life, and I'd like to encourage all of you who have not yet come to that point, that it can be reached. And no matter how horrendous the abuse or pain or suffering or infractions or injuries that were done to you or you think were done to you you can move beyond it and the key to moving beyond that is forgiveness the hawaiians call it ho'oponopono uh, i have made videos about that so if you're interested look uh, here on my uh, on my video list and find that ho'opono video or the huno code of for forgiveness which i think are two of the most powerful devices but in the end it all comes down to you deciding to let it go say, you know what? It's in the past. I can't change it now. I can't approach my older brother and, and confront him or can beg his forgiveness or get him to forgive me or anything. It's over. It's done. It, it's all in here. It's all up to me. And so I've decided to forgive it. And I forgive him. And I forgive my other brother. And I forgive my dad. And I forgive everyone who ever has done me harm or who I thought has done me harm. Everyone. And it's freeing. I can walk through my hometown now here without any stepping on any emotional landmines. And you know what I mean by that. If you ever go home for a visit, they're all over the place. And all my adult life, I've come home here to... Uh, I haven't lived here for over 30 years, but every time I come home... I step on one or two, and it takes me a month or two to get over it. And this time, I feel really different. I just don't feel those landmines. I've been able to sidestep them. I actually, they're not even there waiting and lurk for me. I've processed them, and I've moved beyond them. And so I come here to my brother's grave to announce that to him, to all of them, to my whole family, and especially to myself and to you, my friends. I wish you all strength in your own journeys. And I wish you all strength in your own paths towards forgiveness. Because in the end, we've got to forgive them all.